Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For Wednesday, August 7th, our scripture is found in the 8th chapter of the Gospel of Mark, verses 1 through 10. And then in those days when there was again a great crowd without anything to eat, he called his disciples and said to them, I have compassion for the crowd, because they have been without with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will faint on the way. And some of them have come from a great distance. His disciples replied, How can one feed these people with bread here in the desert? He asked them, How many loaves do you have? They said, Seven. Then he ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves, and after giving thanks, he broke them and gave them to his disciples to distribute. distribute. And they distributed them to the crowd. They had also a few small fish. After blessing them, he ordered that these two should be distributed. They ate and were filled, and they took up the broken pieces left over. Seven baskets full. Now there were 4,000 people, and he sent them away. And immediately he got into the boat with his disciples and went to the district of Dalmanutha. The Compassion of the Christ. Jesus said, I have compassion for the crowd. The word passion comes from the Latin word for suffering. We sometimes forget this when we speak of romantic passion or the passion that someone has for a hobby. But passion is rooted in suffering, which was made clear in the 2004 Mel Gibson movie about Jesus in Jerusalem, The Passion of the Christ. The feeding of the 4,000 take place in Galilee. If I were to make a movie about it, I would call it The Compassion of the Christ. Not passion, but compassion. Take the word apart, and you find that it means with suffering or suffering with. Jesus shows compassion toward the people around him, which means that he suffers with them. Jesus had a sympathetic awareness of the distress of the people, combined with a strong desire to alleviate it. So he feeds them using just seven loaves and a few small fish. In the same way, Jesus suffers with us in our distress. Then when we have been fed through his love, he asks us to show compassion to others. Our prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for suffering with us. Inspire us to show your compassion to others. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.